One of the state's top judges wants to help the poor and the young navigate New York's justice system. News 4's Melissa Holmes asked him how he plans to make that happen. If not us, who is going to do this? New York State's chief judge, Jonathan Lippman, is in Buffalo to preside over a panel fighting for the legal rights of the poor, specifically those who can't afford lawyers in civil matters like landlord tenant disputes, child support cases, and foreclosures. People like Bernard Dent. After being laid off and facing foreclosure, this father of three found free legal help from the Western New York Law Center. It was an invaluable service. I would have. I don't know what it would have done. The state's civil legal services got $27 million in funding last year. It's the goal of the task force to expand the program with the public funding it. Well, with all due respect, Your Honor, I just think there's a lot of people in Buffalo who are going to be hearing this story on the news who are thinking, why should I pay for these people's court costs? I'll tell you why. Because by not paying for it, you're going to pay for a lot more. We believe that every dollar that you spend on uh, funding for civil legal services uh, brings five dollars back to the state in terms of reduced cost of homelessness, uh, incarceration, social services. This isn't the only fight for Judge Lippman. He's also trying to change the way New York State handles 16 and 17 year old criminals. It's one of the only states that says no matter what the crime, they're going to be treated as adults, not juveniles. Well, I think it's a, it's a terrible mistake. So, for example, when a 17-year-old was arrested in August for a vandalism spree in Kaisertown, Judge Lippman says someone like him would need rehabilitation, not incarceration. We know that adolescents don't think the way adults do. The judge is now preparing legislation in hopes of changing the statute for good. He's also launching a pilot rehabilitation program in Buffalo for nonviolent 16 and 17-year-old criminals. Get them help so they don't get into a life of crime. Melissa Holmes, News 4.